Okay, so what we're going to do here, uh, the final part of the installation, is we're going to hook the float assembly up. The float assembly uh, is already cut for you. It's usually laying inside the bride well here. So what you're going to do is you're going to pull it up out of there and take off the rubber garment here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to lower it down. Take it up through the hole right there. Just like that. So the float can move up and down. Put the rubber garment back over the top of the tube to hold it in place. You can adjust your float by lowering or raising this rubber garment. But you'll notice that you have an overflow right here, which is your 90 degree elbow here. Now you can hook a hose up too if you're in an area where you're afraid this might overflow and cause damage to the floor. You just run some sort of drain tubing off of that, run it in a designated area. Just don't attach it to the drain tubing on the water softener or iron filter. It has to be run separately all by itself. So what we're going to do now is you want to just make sure that this float assembly is below this overflow. We're going to go and lower that down, and we're going to take our brine line tubing. Again, there's no fittings or anything needed on this. You just stick it into the quick connect, push it into place, and it locks in. Now, if for some reason you need to ever pull this out, this gray piece right here, you just push it in with your fingers and pull it out. That's all you got to do. It's pretty simple. Push it back in, lock it into place, it's ready to go. So that's your bright line hookup. Thank you.